Hi everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry, and I'm bringing you today a video that has been requested quite often, and that is to see how I actually plan out my days and what my planning routine looks like. So I thought that this would be the perfect time to do it because I'm about to switch from my current spread over to a new spread. So it'll be a great time to show you how I migrate my tasks and how I draw out my headers for the next day. So I will give you a little overview and let's get to it. First thing you will notice on this spread right here is that I have quite a few unfinished tasks. So I have um, this from Monday was to start an Instagram landing page on my blog. I also have some Instagram coursework that I'm working on. I also had not yet filmed this video. Uh, I was gonna do that yesterday, but now I'm doing it today, Thursday, and then to edit and schedule the YouTube video. And then I am thinking about doing a Periscope later today. So these are all of the tasks that I do not have finished. I will say that normally I would not do this in the afternoon. I would wait until my day is completely done before I set up the following day. So what I do is about 30 minutes before bed, I will come upstairs, sit up here at my desk, start my next day in my bullet journal. I will draw out my little time tracker and my header and the weather for the next day. And then if I'm moving to a new spread, which I'll be showing you today, I will migrate over any unfinished tasks and then add further tasks to my list. So we'll go ahead and just turn to the next available spread, which this happens to be this one right here. So let's get started. The first thing that I do is draw out my time tracker. And for that, I use my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. And lately I've been using the S, which is a 0.3 millimeter tip, and I love it. So I'll go ahead and draw that out. And I normally don't use a ruler for this, and quite often my lines are a little wonky. But to be honest, it really just doesn't bother me that much anymore. I used to want everything to be super straight, but it really doesn't bug me. Once it's all said and done, who cares? Um, Alright, so then I'll put in my time. And I like to do a full 24 hours on this so that I can log my sleep as well. And when I first started doing this, I actually did it with military time, so it was 1 through 24, but I found that's just really not how I think, uh, so I wanted it to be in 12-hour increments. Alright, so once I have put in my time, what I like to do is just section off what's going to be happening during the day. So I know that I wake up at 5.30, so I'm going to put a line there. I know that I go to bed around 10.30, so I'm going to put a line there. Then my morning routine, normally I give myself until 8.30, 9 a.m. to get that done. So I'll check back to my Calendex and I keep that bookmark, bookmarked with a little paper clip. And I'll see that tomorrow is the 12th of February. It looks like I have a couple of events, plus the yellow circle is um, my sunshine and berries. It's my little meet that I have with Kim over at Tiny Rio Sunshine every week. So I've got three events tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those down. Uh, these first two are located on page 65. So I'm going to turn to 65 and see how they're a purple square. So I'll look on page 65 and find the purple square, and that shows me that I have two phone calls, one at 8 and one at 12 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to write those in. So I've got one at 8 a.m., so I'm going to section that off. I've got one at 12 p.m., and then I've got my meeting with Kim at 1 p.m., which normally lasts a couple of hours, so I'm going to block that off. And let's see. So my morning routine is going to be from 6 to 7, or from 5.30 to about 7.30. And 
then I'm gonna have a Skype phone call at eight, then I'm gonna have some free time in the morning, then I will have another call at noon, a meeting with Kim from one to two, and then the rest of my day is open for scheduling. So the next thing I do is look and set up the weather. Um, I already did that in advance because I'm filming on my phone, but the sunrise tomorrow will be right around 5.30, so I like to put that in there. And then sunset is going to be right around 7 o'clock, so I like to put that on there. And then I'll go ahead and color code this whole thing in. And the color code that I use, I use light blue for sleep because that just makes sense to me. So I just shade it in and then on the other side too. Then I use yellow for my morning routine. It's my miracle morning that I do every single morning. I use green for appointments and events. So I know that I have a Skype call at 8 a.m. I know that I have another at noon. And then I know that I have a meeting with Kim like I do every Friday. So those are my events and appointments for the day. And then I use orange for things related to my blog. So I plan on spending the morning tomorrow in between appointments working on blogging stuff and also the afternoon being a Friday I think I'm gonna knock off a little bit early so I'm just gonna make that till about 430 All right. and then the rest of the evening I'm just gonna leave blank anything that's blank for me is unscheduled time so it's time that I can do whatever I want with basically so next what I'm going to do is the weather, like I said. So tomorrow it is supposed to be around 33 degrees. The low is supposed to be 21. And it's going to be a partly cloudy day. So I'll just draw in my little cloud, my little sunshine. cute okay and then I will draw in my header for the day so tomorrow is Friday um, let's see I always I, lately I've been switching things up and you can tell here on my last spread like I've been trying to do a different header each day at least as long as everything's all on the same page I try to keep it keep it different and mix things up so I think I am going to make today an arrow, or tomorrow, I should say. And again, I, I really just, I don't try very hard to make any of this perfect. I kind of like the messy, like sketchy look. So I just try not to worry too much about making anything look perfect at all. All right, so that's a fun little arrow and then I'll just write my Friday. Right on top there. And then I like to thicken up my letters, make it look kind of like calligraphy. All right, so we got that. And then I put the date, which is February 12th, 2016. All right, so we've got our header set up. I've got my time tracker set up. Now it's time to set up my task list for the day. 
So again, like I said, I already know about these three appointments, so I'm going to go ahead and put those straight in. And I do a circle for appointments or events, it doesn't matter which. So I know I have 8 a.m. medical. Oops, 12 p.m. All right, so those are my two phone call appointments or Skype appointments. And then at 1 p.m. is S and B, which is short for Sunshine and Berries. All right, now I'm gonna look back and see what things I might need to migrate over. So I will look back at my last spread and look for empty tasks. So I have start Instagram landing page. That's something I definitely want to get on this weekend. Okay, then I have over here, I'm working on an Instagram course, so I'm going to move that over. Okay, and then the other two empty tasks that I have is to film my YouTube video and edit and schedule that YouTube video. So I'm not going to migrate those over because obviously I'm going to finish that today, but that kind of gives you an idea. And then once I've migrated something, I just turn it into a little arrow, just like that. Okay, so now going back to tomorrow. This is when I start to think of what else do I need to get done. And I actually created this little spread a couple of, a few days ago about different things that I need to get done each day and trying to give myself kind of a schedule. So um, I just, I keep flipping back to this and I say, okay, tomorrow's Friday, what do I need to do? So tomorrow I need to publish a blog post, publish this YouTube video, send out a tribe email that's every other week which does not happen this week and inbox zero so i'll clear out my email i will publish video i will publish my blog post and i will clean out my inbox and respond to any messages that need it. And besides that, um, I like to look at it and kind of, kind of think, how, how much work is that in the day? Am I gonna be able to get all this done? Am I gonna have room to do more? So I really, I really just sit and think about it. And if I have room to do more, what I like to do is take a look in my brain dump notebook which is this one right here. This is a Filofax A5 notebook, and I've turned this into my brain dump notebook. So I, this is just a whole slew of tasks that don't necessarily have a time frame to them that I want to get done eventually. So if I think I have extra room in the day, I will refer to this notebook and to the, this list in particular, and I will see if I wanna pick up a couple of new tasks to start adding into my daily list. For now, I am not gonna do that because I have a feeling that this is going to be quite the task list for tomorrow. So I'm gonna call my task list done. The other thing that I do once I have determined what my tasks are for the day, I decide their importance. So obviously events, those are gonna happen no matter what, so they don't get ranked. What I do is any of my tasks, I wanna pick my top three for the day. And my top three tasks are the tasks that, as long as they get done, even if nothing else gets done, I'll still feel like it was a good day. So. The first thing that I want to obviously do is publish my video and my blog post. So I'm going to name those number one and number two. And then I've been putting off this Instagram landing page for a little while, so I'm going to make that number three. So when I look at my list tomorrow, 
that's the order in which I'm going to tackle my tasks and everything else is just going to be kind of filler, if that makes sense. After this is all set up, I don't bother, I don't do anything else. Like I don't go ahead and set up the next day. I leave this totally open so that throughout the day I can come in and write little notes or whatever it may be. And you'll notice back through some of my old spreads, I'll have notes. My notes are signified with a line like this. Then sometimes I'll have little quotes and things along those lines. All right, and then the, the last thing that I do is color in my little weather thing. No biggie, of course. It's just something that I like doing. I like that cohesiveness throughout my journal. And yellow. And I'm really not careful with coloring these either. Again, I really kind of like the messy, sketchy look. So just my personal preference. So that's it. That is how I plan and set up for the next day. Normally I will also think about if there's anything off the top of my head that needs to get done, like say I need to call and schedule a doctor's appointment or something like that, I'll write that in there as a task. But really that's my method. I first look at my calendex to see what my appointments are, then I go through and migrate unfinished tasks, and then I add in any other tasks that might need to get done that day. Besides setting up my next day, what I like to do is go ahead and keep my bookmark on my new day. So when I wake up in the morning, I just grab this bookmark and I flip right open to my task list for the day. I also go back to my previous bookmark, which is where my month starts, and I mark off what I did that day. So these are my trackers. I have my Plan With Me Challenge tracker, so I will highlight in pink whichever challenge I completed that day. I will go to my monthly tracker and I will log whatever happened that day as well. Then I will turn the page. If there's any big memory or something like that that I want to record, I will put that here. I'll log what I did in the Rock Your Handwriting Challenge and then I move on to my gratitude log. And my gratitude log, I've been having some fun with color. I've actually been using a fountain pen in my gratitude log, so that's been kind of fun. I've been using this one. This is my brand new Kara's Customs Fountain K that I got from Goulet Pens, and I freaking love it. This is a brown aluminum body, for those of you curious. And then I've got the copper grip, which you can see, let me put this down. You can see that that copper is already starting to patina from my from my hands, which I kind of love it. And and yeah, and then I've just been writing with this. It's inked up with Pilot Iroshizuku Kujaku, which is my favorite teal, which is what you see here. But yeah, love this pen. It is awesome. So yeah, then I log two things in my gratitude log for the day. Then I'm just set and ready to go when I wake up the next morning. So I hope that you found this video super useful. As always, I will be linking to all of my supplies in the description notes below. So if you're curious about my notebooks, my pens, uh, everything that I use for bullet journaling, I will have all that down there. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, I'd love to chat with you in the comment section. And I, I love the conversations that we get going down there. I love answering questions that anyone may have. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it so much if you would give it a thumbs up, give it a like, maybe even share it if you know someone that might find it useful. And if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe. I'll be putting out new videos every Friday. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.